What is going on guys? Touchdowns to home run and we're back with another episode and today's episode is a little different. We're going to start a new series today where I just make up these crazy what if statements about sports and I talk about them and I just discuss what I think will happen um, within these scenarios. And yeah, so for our first what if episode, I have what if the Super Bowl was a best of three series. So I got some interesting stuff to say. Um, you might not all agree with it, but this is just what I would think if the NFL actually did go and do this. This was what I would think and want for like it to be like. Now, first off, this isn't happening. Uh, the NFL, I don't think, is anywhere near the thought of this. I think they're happy with what they have right now in like Super Bowl Sunday and everything. But this was just, I was just thinking one day, like, what if the NFL changed the Super Bowl to a best of three series. And I just thought about all these things, so I'll list them all off. So, number one, I had each team would have at least one game at home. That's the main thing I'd see here because if you have one, uh, like a one game, like do or die, um, obviously you can't have it at a home team. Well, you could, but like that's not really fair. You can't decide which, so they have it in a neutral site. So, I have the team with the better seed and or better record gets game one and three at home and then the other seed gets the one uh he gets game two at home so that's my first point that i'd have to say if they changed it to a best of three series another thing i think they'd all keep them on sundays i know it'd be long it would be a three week series all every game on sunday but the players do need a rest and everything um there's still halftime shows and I have a very interesting thing for the halftime shows. I think that the halftime shows, if they did do this and they're at team's home stadium, each halftime show will be featuring a performer from that city or a fan of the team. So, like, if you saw the Super Bowl this year, Big Boy, I, he came on with Travis Scott, I think. He was from Atlanta, uh, so they brought him in, like, because he was in Atlanta. So I think they, they would do something like that in this situation. Um, the amount of views for each individual game compared to like the Super Bowl, the, the regular Super Bowl would go down because it's not the do or die game, although it could be if you go to game three, but I just don't think it'll be overly as hyped. Like still, they'll get a lot of people to watch it. It's just not as many as they would if it was just a one game. Um, ad prices will drop in this game too because, well, in these series because there's only, there's three games instead of just one one big game you have more viewers and it's very rare to get an ad for that but if you stretch it out to a three game series you have more slots which means that the prices will ultimately go down and here's an interesting one so have you ever been watching the super bowl game and like everyone usually has a favorite like channel that does the um their favorite football team's game like mine i love when nbc does the bears or the panthers that's my favorite so what I was thinking is that NBC, Fox, and CBS would rotate through all the Super Bowl series games. So like, let's say NBC does game one, Fox does game two, and then the series ends. That means CBS would then do game one next year. Um, then NBC does game two and Fox would do game three. And it just keeps going and going in that rotation. So there'll be more, you'll get to see more of your favorite channels like doing the games more often in the Super Bowl. Um, most of the time, the winner of the first game will win it all, in my opinion, but it could have changed, like, prior champions. Like, let's say you go back to, like, wouldn't you like to see a week later after the Patriots and Seahawks game that ended on the interception on the goal line, wouldn't you like to see the Seahawks come back out and try to come back down one nothing after that game to try to win the Super Bowl? I just thought that that would be very interesting because that was a really close game. If they played, like, two more games in that series, like, the Seahawks could have won. There's a bunch of other Super Bowls that were, like, that that were close. Or if a team just has a bad day, like you saw the Rams this year, or, like, take the Panthers in Super Bowl 50, like, they played awful. I know it stings, but for me, but, like, if we had two more games and maybe and we were the one seed, so we got two of these games at home at Bank of America, we could have done... A lot better with the home crowd behind us and so here are my pros and cons of what if the Super Bowl was best of three series my pros are 
I think one of the most important ones that I want to see is that teams win in front of their home crowd and, like, at their home stadium. Like, it's cool when they're at an away, like, somewhere else, and they have, like, a couple thousand fans there cheering them on. But, like, it wouldn't it be so much better at, like, the trophy presentation and everything when you have, like, the whole stadium, like, 80,000 people cheering on while they get the Super Bowl trophy. I just thought that would be a lot cooler. Even though it's not guaranteed that every time that you would win in front of your home crowd, but you no soup no team has ever won a Super Bowl at their home stadium in front of their home crowd. So I just thought that would be really cool. One or another point I had, uh, another pro I had was you get one or two more games in um, between the best two teams in the NFL. So again, like classic games, like what if you saw. You know, after the Patriots came back against the Falcons, what if Matt Ryan, um, they would have got a second chance to come back after that. And, like, just, I wonder if some other good classic games. Like, the Giants and Patriots ones, like the helmet catch. Imagine you get two more of those games within the next two weeks. Like, that's just insane. You get more really good quality games. And then another thing i kind of said it already but like you get a chance at redemption for the losing team if you lose the first game you're not out for good now uh, i haven't mentioned this but throughout this whole thing i still think that the whole playoffs would just be a one game like knockout thing like regular i was just this is just for the super bowl not the whole playoffs now some cons i have about if this were to happen it takes away the overall thrill of super bowl sunday like the do or die factor if you don't win this game like you're out if you win you win the whole thing and of course it'll take away viewers so that's another thing um weather factors because the team play plays at home like if you go to play a super bowl in buffalo and you have like a massive snowstorm and you have to play a super bowl game in that that's obviously going to affect some teams and not get the best outcome of a game you want so that's another thing uh, if a player gets hurt in the first game, like going all out because it is the Super Bowl, um, that screws up the whole series. Like if your quarterback goes out, that's not good, especially unless you're like the Eagles and you had like Nick Foles, although he's at the Jaguars now. But again, that could screw up your whole series. And then the last con I had was um, three-week series are really long. especially Well, you have to for the NFL because they need the rest, but like three weeks – I feel like that's just a really long time to continue a series. Like, most series and most leagues take, like, a week to a week and a half max, I'd say. Uh, because And those are, like, seven-game series. But it's football. It's the most tiring sport, and they need the most rest and recovery. So, overall, I don't think that the NFL is going to do this or ever going to do this. I was just thinking it was a really cool idea to talk about and stuff like that. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any other what if statements um, like this one, any other league like MLB, NFL, well, we just did NFL, NHL, NBA, NCAA, basketball or football, anything, anything, just comment. Um, if you like content like this, subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching and come back next time.